What's up, guys? It is Monday morning, 3.50 a.m. for me. So, something that I want to talk to you guys about is the missing ingredient. What's the missing ingredient in everything? You guys might have the experience, the qualification, the education. But what is it? What about your attitude? What about what's the attitude? What's your missing ingredient in your life? We're all looking for ways to succeed, but if you're going into a job interview or a social situation like a wedding or funeral or whatever, like those are all stressful situations, don't get me wrong. But if your attitude isn't right, then what are you bringing to the table? What are you going to do? So, fuck it. So, you know what we're going to do? Get a pen and paper right now or go to the notes in your cell phone. And we're going to write down three things that we're grateful for. And three things that we want to accomplish today. And, you know, it could be, you know, three things that we're, three things that we're going to accomplish today is going to be making our bed, brushing our teeth, taking a shower. Three things that we're grateful for is the bed that we slept on, the toothbrush that we used, the shower that we used. Just real simple things. And then, at night... We're going to review those things and see how well we did. And it's okay if we don't do it perfect, but we're going to try. And, you know, if you find something else you're grateful for, write that down. If you accomplish another goal, write that down tonight. And then look at it each morning. And you know what? So you're going to either screenshot it or take a picture of it with yourself. And then tag me on Instagram at none of your business 406 So that's what we're going to do. Because you gotta get, you know, like, let's keep each other accountable. Let's call it the accountability challenge. Let's do that. Let's get this thing going. Like, I'll keep myself accountable if you guys keep yourself accountable. Let's keep each other accountable. You know what I mean? I'm accountable to you. You're accountable to me. Call me out if I don't do it. I'll call you out if you don't do it. Let's do this. You know, life's too fucking short. Why walk around and be miserable? Why are you letting that toxic person in your life still... Why do you keep going into these situations that you just don't understand? Like, I do it too. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not perfect. No way in hell am I not perfect. I like to repeat the same thing over and over and over again until I'm really hurt. And then just to make sure I go back. That's just the way I am. Um, I wish I wasn't. In all aspects of my life, I'm not like that. Don't get me wrong. But... Fuck. Like, when I woke up in the ICU and I fucking realized that I need to do something different and I started taking those actions to make those things different, like, it totally changed my mind. Like, you have to be grateful for the things that you got. You have to be grateful for the ones that are in your life. You have to be grateful for the things that you have. And, I don't know, like, in 2018, I was in the hospital more than seven times. Seven times that I just remember. I woke up in the ICU twice. Um, once. Once. And, uh, you know, had near death experiences. Uh, you know, July 3rd, me and my ex fiance, we almost both died because of the actions that we were both taking. Like, in a car wreck. Like, it was my choice. It was my mistakes that I made. My decisions. And, you know, fuck it, like, when you almost kill yourself and someone else, like, shit gets real, so, now you gotta be grateful for the life that you got, so, make those three things that you're grateful for, make those three things that you wanna accomplish today, and fucking stay styling, guys.